Nine months to the day we stood on this spot. Yeah, it's been nine months since the last time I came out to this place. And, uh, you know, did one of these walking vlog things. So I don't know what I'm doing. We are a week away from daylight savings time. And I guess that's to be reflected by the trees. It's not yet spring. But we keep getting pollen alerts, so any day now we're going to be sneezing and dying. But things will get more beautiful, I guess. But yeah, this is just an open field, so I'll see you somewhere else. So yeah, here we are again on this trail that doesn't look the same anymore. This was the section that was all kind of like pine and hardwood stuff. Now it's just brown. It's all good though. Something's making noise over here. Not sure, I'm not used to scanning the woods for crap. You know, sitting inside in that stupid chair the whole time. That's pretty much the main reason why I'm here because the weather's getting good again. And where I live, you have to capitalize on that because it starts to very quickly become like 90 degree days. And that's no fun. Yeah, it was about 29 or 30 this morning. It's like every hour it heats up 10 degrees. It's going to be about 70 degrees today. So that's about like 55 to 65 right now. Optimal weather, really. Sorry, just did a nervous scan. Because you know me and my stupid anxiety stuff. I guess that's one good thing about this. The, the death of everything. You can see more clearly as to like what's actually near you. So it's, you know, it'd be easier to spot somebody in like a red shirt or something. Whereas when everything's in bloom, you kind of don't notice until you start to hear voices, which means they're already right up on you. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at these trees. I don't know. I guess they look about the same as they would even when everything's uh, in full bloom. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really have much to say. This might be a shorter one. But yeah, my legs have been feeling all kinds of screwed up. And uh, to the point I was questioning whether or not my left leg was getting that like varicose vein stuff. But I don't think it is. I think it's just literally way too much of the sedentary lifestyle. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta walk slower with these things. Otherwise the camera gets all weird. That's all, another thing to talk about, like everything I said last year or nine months ago or whatever, talking about trying to be more fit, do this more often or um, you know, maybe even invest in a vlogging camera or those glasses that you could just wear, even though they have crap sound quality and stuff, if any sound quality at all. Some of them don't capture audio. But yeah, I didn't do any of that. So this is still on my phone, which probably has less battery life than it did a year ago. And yeah, I didn't do crap physically. <laughs> like as soon as that summer heat came, like I said, those 90 degrees days or whatever, I was like, nope, me and outside do not get along anymore. Summertime is not fun when you're not a kid and you don't have a pool in your backyard. I realize now how lucky I was for that. All thanks to my dad, really. But yeah, I want to try to go back to that bridge area where that cool little 
I guess it's a river. A very bad river. Nothing really too exciting, but... I can't remember, honestly, if I'm even on the part of this trail that leads to it the fastest. Because, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be out here for too long today. Got some stuff I got to do. It's not buggy yet either. That's amazing. Actually, that's right. Towards the end of those videos that I did last year, I kind of came off of these trails. I should be coming up on that in like the next 10 minutes or so. But you can switch to the equestrian trails, which are bigger, of course, but you got to watch out for the landmines. Because I remember towards the end, I was trying to get closer to a different part of that river in hopes of finding a cool water spot. But yeah, something tells me this isn't the place to be for that. But yeah, this Friday, I go get that endoscopy done, or however you say that word. So we'll see what happens there. It's one of those things where I hope that something is detected just so you know and can start doing something different. Because that would suck to pay a ton of money just to be told, oh yeah, there's nothing abnormal. But then of course, I guess either way, it's like lifestyle changes that you have to do. What is that bird? I hear that bird all the time, like all my life. The one doing the crazy whistling. I'm assuming it's being picked up. I don't know. Yes, just we're just surrounded by massive amounts of brown right now. Sometimes that bothers me. Like that's why it's fun to come out here when everything starts to get nice. And you know, people are always on about how beautiful nature is and stuff, and it is. But this, like when you really think about it, the world is in this state. For most of the year, you only get like those really green, beautiful days for like a quarter of the year. Like springtime, especially. Because summer is nice too, of course, but you got the heat to contend with. And that can ruin a lot of things. So yeah, as I've gotten older, I definitely have a greater appreciation for spring and fall. Whereas as a kid, summer was always the best because you didn't have school. And if you were lucky, you got to go to the beach and stuff. But yeah, screw that crap now. Yeah, I'm afraid of what might happen if I decided to start running. Because that was one of the things I was talking about last year that I really wanted to do. And uh, like I said, I didn't really do it. So nothing's changed, and I wouldn't be surprised if physically things have gotten worse. Like I said, the stupid thing about my leg, which kind of this is a test. See, after walking a little bit today, how's my leg going to feel? My hope, of course, is that it feels better. And then the obvious answer that my brain is telling me anyway reveals itself to be true, which is get off your ass and do something instead of playing video games and recording them on YouTube, you know? Because I really do think I'm still young enough to the point where if I do make some changes along those regards, things will just kind of fall in line. Maybe not as fast as they would 
if I was like 10, 20 years younger. But still, like I don't think I, <laughs> I've poisoned myself enough to the point that I'm 30 years older than I actually am. But I may have advanced it a little bit. You never know with those energy drinks and the frozen food meals. So here is that four-way intersection. And this is a test of my memory that I don't know. Watch some of you guys probably know if you watch those other ones. This way, I found a tortoise one time and that's the horse trail. Uh, this way is the long way back to the bridge, I think. This is an alternate way back to the parking lot. No, it's not. If that's another part of the horse trail. This is how you get back to the parking lot where I just was. So I guess I'm gonna to stick to the hiking trail, which means this is gonna be a long walk probably. But I know this is where the bridge part is. That has the river or whatever. Not that it's anything exciting. Curious to see how much of this there is. Not that I remember exact locations of where there was huge downed ones before, but... I remember having to jump over one that was in front of the trail. Yeah, this is crazy. I could see... Like, straight through to the other trails. Which, the last time I was here, you definitely couldn't do that. But it does suck because I used to like to look up and see the sun coming through like in rays. You know how it starts, you could see the sunlight rays. When there's leaves on the trees, you can see that better. Yeah, I could definitely feel the sun coming through now. It probably is pushing 70 or whatever it's supposed to hit today. It's still early, it's about to be like 10, 10.30 in the morning. One thing I'm kind of surprised about though is how quickly I was able to whip this thing out and just start talking. Whereas the first time, and even the second and third time I came here, like I had to walk for 30 minutes first and like really scan my surroundings for other people before I felt comfortable enough to start talking. And it's not like I'm being quiet either, <laughs> which is weird. But it does seem pretty empty. Maybe it is just the death of everything and being able to see further that I'm like, oh, well, yeah, there's clearly no people around. Massive uprooted tree. Yeah, I recognize this though. This is definitely the long way to where I want to try to get to, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm going to teleport ahead here. Just shut this off and maybe try to hustle along a little bit and then turn this back on later. Think of something to say in the meantime. Check this out, it's the spot that I was talking about. You see this perfect split? There used to be a huge log here you had to jump over. And uh, that's what I was talking about before. But yeah, I was just coming from back this way, ran into some people and uh, <laughs> it's a good thing it was after the fact because I cut through like all this kind of crap that's not part of the trail. I was like, hey, I can see through there. I'm gonna run through there for the first time. And so that's what I did. But yeah, I'm definitely still pretty far from that bridge. But it does feel good today. Like I was kind of picking up my pace and even like doing a light jog for a little bit. And so far everything's good. So we're not that old yet, I guess. I don't know if that wind is cutting through. But thank God it's there though. It really is like the ideal temperature 
And actually, if that breeze was more frequent, it'd be even better. But yeah, not really much going on here. Unless you like to stare at paths. Muddy ripples, dude. Finally made it, man, like half an hour later. You could kind of see it through the, uh, the trees there. This spot was always called cool, too. I don't think I've ever come to this from this way before. Yep, yeah, there it is. We'll go on it in a minute, but I don't know. I always like to walk down here because you find sticks. Well, could be like a Deku stick or something. That's my way of tying this back to what actually goes up on this channel all the time. <laughs> actually, wait a minute. See, now this stuff is cleared out a little bit. Like, I don't remember. Did I ever come to this little rock before? It's a dead end either way, but... Or is it? If you had... Some kind of chopping device you could get through there. Like, I've definitely never stepped on this before. We're doing it. If I can, anyway. Wow, look at all this. I feel it under my feet, too. It's not every day you step on moss. Oh, hey, yeah, you can see a little, a little bit more of the river going on down there. Or, poor excuse thereof. But yeah, this is definitely like not made for pedestrian crap. Whatever. Not the most interesting thing, I suppose, but someday we might go somewhere that has an actually pretty awesome river to sit by or something. Some nice cool breeze again. That looks like a slope almost. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just wandering where I'm probably not supposed to be wandering. That's how people get in trouble, I guess. What the hell? What is that? This will be my new home under the bridge. I don't know, there's something kind of cool about this spot, though. Big log blocking the way. You never know what critters you might find under places, but yeah, whatever. Scare the crap out of somebody walking right now, probably. Oh well. It's a very weird structure. Back to where we're supposed to be here. It is a cool lookout. Is there a bench? No. For some reason, my memory is telling me there used to be a bench here, but I guess not. 
Yep. We were just there. And that's how feet work. I don't know what the heck happened to the railing here. They had a little spot to get down by that gross water is off to the left here at the end of this. Haven't seen any dogs today, but I did find a phone and I briefly picked it up and pressed a button and it was almost at full battery, which means somebody lost it today. And I don't know what the right thing to do in that situation is because I saw two people this whole time and they were like 30 minutes apart each. Actually, no, three people. So it's like, do you pick up the phone, go back and like run to meet them and say, did you drop this? Cause like, what if they say yes, but it's not theirs. So I just kind of like put a leaf on it and walked away. Which is probably not the right thing to do, maybe. Because that's the thing, you don't know if they're going to pick it up, like realize at the very moment I found it, maybe they realized they were missing it and they were going to backtrack and then find it. I guess that's what you would hope. But maybe the right thing to do would have been to take it and then go bring it to like the entrance. But I don't even know if there's any like park staff. Yeah, I just don't know what the right thing to do in that situation was. But I stood there and I thought about it for a while. Well, here we are, and it's not muddy. It's all dried up. That wasn't there before. This huge tree that just fell over. Unless the water is that much lower. Actually, yeah, maybe it was. I do remember that. It has been nine months or so, but this very shot was the thumbnail of, I think, the very first one of these I did. And I was down here on a rant about how this is life, not video games, or whatever the heck I was saying. Struggling to finish Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, I believe it was. I peed here once. History in the making. The water is a weird color. Like, it's got more of a bluish hue than it did. I mean, it's still green and gross, but... I love that sound, man. I don't know. My voice, whenever I do these things, is always louder than... the sounds. What is that thing? I don't know if I could zoom in on it or not. See that little feather-like thing? Yeah, maybe it's just a leaf. I hear something. I don't know if it's more people or a car. I do want to know where this goes. I never found another way to get down to this thing, like towards the back end of it that way. Or the front end. I don't know, there's just something very soothing about that noise. Very soothing that was, that just rolled out of my mouth. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I couldn't go here before. There's definitely a little bit of a path. But yeah, in the, I guess it was summer when I was here. It was way overgrown. Like This is a whole part I haven't been to. Hmm. Man, that's like, this. wait a minute, this is the perfect spot. 
first of all. There's some kind of a footprint there. Looks like a dog paw. But if there were ever to be a fish, that's my water bottle being squished in, squished against my ass. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if anything exists in here, but this is like a Smeagol spot. See it and scoop it up. Just eat it raw and wriggling. Yummy. Yeah, this thing goes, hold on now. Very soon we're not gonna get this luxury or whatever you wanna call it. I mean, I, I might get stopped here pretty soon. Lots of brown. You almost have to say it like Eeyore. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a squishy, muddy spot. But yeah, look at this. It divides. You can go left or right. What do you choose? This is like one of those multiple ending things. Man, yeah, actually, I don't know if I want to go here. Unless it's just this spot. It's super muddy. It seems dry up here, though. Yeah. I mean, I could walk up this way and probably join up with the path. Thing is, if somebody's coming on the path like a normal human, I might scare the crap out of them and be like, who is this woodsman? Like, I'm far from a woodsman, man. I don't know what that is. But if it was Breath of the Wild, it would be a Korok spot. Let's see. The bridge is there, so the path is right up that way. Yeah, it's definitely easily. I'm doing it. Sorry if it's all shaky and crap. question is, whenever I do find the path, which way is the way out of here? I would assume left, since right would take me back to the bridge. I think I found it. Yep. Yeah, because there's the bridge. So just right back up this way. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back because there's an emergency access to the parking lot this way. And uh, I kind of feel like being done. So I got some stuff to do. Got some Stardew Valley episodes to edit and crap. And got to get to the store. So yeah. I'm gonna cross this bridge again. And then... Uh, Yeah, I might see you in that emergency access walkway thing. Because it used to be very tree-covered and pretty cool. 
but uh, it probably looks like crap now. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like this is about as green as we're seeing today. There's a woodpecker having a field day over there. Can't see him, but... Ah, he just flew. But yeah, I'm at the end. I was hoping he would make the racket that he was making, but... It's like when you grab a fly swatter, you know? Suddenly the flies just stop being visible. They know. Yeah. There's a chair there. And PVC piping, it looks like. I don't know, but I see the gate that leads to the parking lot. So I guess that's that. Sorry, I didn't really have much to go on about. It's just, yeah, first day out enjoying the nice weather while it's here. This whole week is going to be nice, but I don't know if I'm really going to come back here. Because, yeah, everything being dead still is kind of not good. Sorry, there was just a guy riding his bike. I didn't want to film him, so I had to quick turn it off. But well, yep, this is back where I started. I mean, I didn't film this part, but some kind of loud plane overhead. But yeah, it's about getting closer to lunchtime now. That's something that I'm gonna do. Lunch and grocery shopping, and then editing videos, I guess. But my point in saying it is there might be more people walking around, especially up here. Because this is where, like, everything kind of converges, whether you want to be on a horse or a bike or just go to the playground or something. But, yeah, I guess I'll see you around for uh, some other one in the future. Maybe someplace different. That would be nice, but I don't know where yet. Anyway, take care. Even this road has not really grown in yet. This is about as green as we're gonna see. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever.